Uh, and what's the name of your fraternity? Sig 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 Oh, that's cool. I was a Phi Sigma Kappa, but ironically. <laughs> what did you say, weirdo? Is that what you just said to me? Is that what you said? Did you say weirdo? Are you in shorts? In shorts to a show? Shorts after 6 p.m., that's a very specific type of alcoholism. <laughs> Did you just call me a weirdo because I'm in Phi Sigma Kappa? You do know I can kick you the fuck out of here, right? <laughs> like, I am, in, your, in terms of your evening, I currently am the most powerful person. <laughs> but I don't want to ruin your night because you're obviously the token homosexual of the group. <laughs> hey! What are you laughing at? That's nothing to be laughed at. Every group of fraternity guys needs a homosexual who wears a button-down blue shirt and salmon-colored shorts. Because, because he's industrious. He doesn't need long pants on. His knees have been scabbed over. They're calloused. He has callous knees from performing fellatio to the other fraternity brothers and swearing to never tell their girlfriends. That's what he's done! How are we doing? We're in a good place, the two of us? I like to check in. I like to tease people and make fun of them, but I want everybody to have a good time. You know what I mean? This guy doesn't want you to have a good time. Because you keep pointing at that guy and be like, make fun of him, make fun of him. Why, how do you know him? No, it's my older brother. It's your or brother? Okay. You see what just happened there? I took the temperature of whether or not it'd be fun to talk to him. And then he said, that's an aura brother. <laughs> and I was like, oh, he's blackout drunk. I'm gonna make my way right back over here. I am not going to talk to a guy who's like, an aura brother. An aura. Oh, you're, you're a brother. He's an aura brother. So, the re brothers. And the re there, brother. An aura brother. Yo, brother. And we are a, uh, yo, mirror, a mirror razor. We got a mirror razor. I do want to, where's the other, like, is it real that there's a fraternity? You guys are in a fraternity? Are you, are you serious or are you joking? What's your, uh, no, we, you're okay. <laughs> You're totally okay. You're so okay, you started to lose consonants. And eventually you lose consciousness. But so far you're losing consonants. It's great, right? English, high school English humor is what you came to see and that's what you got. You sweet motherfucker. Uh, and what's the name of your fraternity? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. I was a Phi Sigma Kappa, but ironically. What did you say, weirdo? Is that what you just said to me? Is that what you said? Did you say weirdo? Are you in shorts? In shorts to a show? Shorts after 6 p.m., that's a very specific type of alcoholism. I think at 4 p.m., he was so drunk, he was like, I don't think pants are in the picture. Or as you would say, all right, pal, here. Hey, all right. Hey, all right. Hey, all right. Hey, all right. <laughs> Did you just call me a weirdo because I'm in Phi Sigma Kappa? You do know I can kick you the fuck out of here, right? <laughs> like, I am, in, your, in terms of your evening, I currently am the most powerful person. <laughs> But I don't want to ruin your night because you're obviously the token homosexual of the group. Hey! What are you laughing at? That's nothing to be laughed at. 
every group of fraternity guys needs a homosexual who wears a button-down blue shirt and salmon-colored shorts. <laughs> because, because he's industrious. He doesn't need long pants on. His knees have been scabbed over. They're calloused. He has calloused knees from performing fellatio to the other fraternity brothers and swearing to never tell their girlfriends. That's what he's done! Did you know that when you stood up and you're like, yeah, everybody was like, fuck that guy. It's not weird. You're the reason white people have a bad name. I'm serious. You're the problem. I'm the solution. You're the problem. why anybody would live in Florida. Obviously, I'm not talking about you guys, because even as I said, I don't understand why you live in Florida. All of you are like, we're in Miami, okay? <laughs> but I don't get it. Because I live in New York. I live in Manhattan. Yeah. <laughs> the only guy that clapped was the dick-sucking frat guy. <laughs> Fucking it up for white guys and New Yorkers. Is that what's happening? Fucking idiot. I know he's from Long Island, you idiot. Look at him. He doesn't have mo enough money to live in Manhattan. Couldn't even live in Queens. Look at him. Look at that ratty blue shirt. Um, so I'm really disappointed that that guy clapped when I said I'm a New Yorker. <laughs> I'm not gonna move on from that immediately without telling you guys, that was a hard moment for me. <laughs> to say New York and to have that fucking trash bag of a man. <laughs> Clap, it's amazing. And you li he lives here, right? You live here, yeah. This is the, f it's the other problem. A lot of people in Miami are like, these fucking New Yorkers. And I'm like, I didn't, obviously I would have sent him away, but I didn't tell him to move to Miami. We're not like that. New York, in fact, I can describe New York in one observation, just one, okay? New York is the only place in the world, New York is the only place in the world where the crazy homeless people that you avoid eye contact with, they avoid eye contact with crazier homeless people. <laughs> So you look at one homeless guy, he's like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. You're like, oh my God, oh God, oh God. And then that guy sees another guy, it's like, ah! And the first guy's like, fuck it, oh shit, fuck that shit, call somebody, help that guy, Jesus fucking. <laughs> Isn't that haunting? That's based on a real experience. <laughs> I always think about, like, was that guy a real psychopath? Or was it just that he was mashing down his own genitalia so hard? Like, if he had eased off, was he just a regular guy? <laughs> ah! oh, okay. There we go. Uh, my wife, uh, Kate, she's really, I know her since college. But I like to, trade, I like to play tricks on her. I do. You know, I have this final joke that I wanted to do. And what, what is your name, sir? Andre. What is it? Andre. It's really Andre? Yeah. Okay. I have this final joke I wanted to do, Andre, but instead I'm gonna tell you, you're not doing this well. 
And I don't mean trying to interject or heckle, I mean your life. <laughs> you could be doing this better. You're not doing it very well. You think that you're handsome, but you are stupid, actually. You think you're fashionable, but I already covered that. Any woman that you're with forever will be like, I could do better. They'll wake up every day, and when you're sort of rude or you're trying to be the center of attention at a party or something, your friends, the people around you are all like, God, Andre, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Andre, you know that there is a friend, all of us have a friend that if they never texted us again, that would be okay? You are that friend. <laughs> Everybody around you. And do you see even just now? Do you see even just now, like before you kind of, yeah, yeah, fucking A, look at that. Nobody really deep down likes you. <laughs> Like deep down, like there are some friends that you have who've known you a long time, it's their friends with you out of obligation. The fraternity brothers all sort of have, like even now you're looking around and you're like, this isn't true, right guys? <laughs> you no, know, he is. He just was like, I mean, what? Are you this guy, this fucking guy, right? The emoji movie. <laughs> but the other thing about you is that you are fragile inside. And so these people who don't really like you that much aren't gonna tell you, no, man, you suck. You're a fucking loser, dude. They're not gonna say that to you. But the problem is they're being bad friends by not doing, yeah, this is getting too real for even him, okay? He had to leave. That's how truthful I'm being, okay? By your friends not telling you what a dildo you are. They're actually not being good friends. But because they are friends with you, they too, by association, are lesser people. And so you are the vortex of shittiness in your world. And I promise you, when you die, you will be alone. You will. Because even if you're surrounded by people, in their hearts they'll be like, when will this end? You, Andre, are the worst person in this entire room. And there are some pretty shitty people in here. But you are the worst. Thank you, Miami. Good night.